so just a really quick video showing you guys the process I go through when arranging my tracks, you know, to, to make everything a little bit easier on my end. Some of you guys already understand this process and some of you guys may not. So this is why I'm making this video. I'm making this video for you. So this is a fresh session that I'm beginning to mix. And what I used to do was I'll, you know, start searching for the different whatever, I, you know, whatever section I'm going for, say drums. And so then I start looking for things that that will reflect the drums or whatever. And I like to move my drums all the way to the top. You know what I mean? This happens to be one. Uh, it was like a, a premix I did before. Um, this is a project I, I had for probably like a year. So I did a mix on this before and just got vocals back. And now I'm getting ready to put a mix on this again inside of Studio One this time. But uh, as you guys know, and, and this is also uh, one thing I want to address is labeling your tracks properly so you can find these things because, and this is, and this will be the primary reason why, because if everything says audio, then it, it makes it quite hard and the process is totally prolonged because now you have to go through each individual track and click on it and solo it and see what it is and then label it so you can understand where everything or what everything is. So in this process, I, I spent a lot of time labeling or I, I stressed among the, the people I work with before sending me the track that make sure everything is labeled properly. So when I go through the stuff, it'd be, you know, quite easy on the engineer itself. So I'm just going to go through a few things that I've noticed, like, OK, here, for instance, here's all my my trumpet, my trumpet here. And let me go to my my front end. And this is one of the things that um, I have to adjust just to avoid that that just happened just not too long ago and if you guys are dealing with this when you click on something and they create this um these pre pre-listening or monitor effect this is the process of doing that and sometimes when you click on the track and it um it creates this this secondary but anyway um <laughs> we're just going to go ahead and, and click none for for those because because when i click on one like what you guys just experienced it, it uh, automatically lit up the the um the recording button and then it start recording so we don't need that as that's, that's usually something I'm, I'm always doing but back to what we were doing we were trying to arrange everything so for instance uh um i clicked on trumpet and but i have several several horns in here that um that i want to go ahead and and and, and we're going to pack these together so we're going to click all that and this was easy shift then click and it just selected everything um in that path so then um the next time i'm going to click is probably on the flugel horns right here i'm going to take my command button instead and click there and i i still have my 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 trumpets selected and then i can go ahead and click the shift again and select those and I have all of those selected, all right? So these are my horns, right? And what I want to do is just right-click on it, or you can go to the top, whichever one is, is comfortable. In my case, I made a I made a short command for it. Mine's is uh, Command-P. So Command-P may not work for you guys. And so what it did was it packed everything in this folder right here. So now all of my 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 trumpet and flugel right just right quick you know what I mean and it just put it somewhere so I can just take that one track and label that as horns real quick bam I'm done with that instead of going and finding everything you know and moving them wherever they wherever they go like for instance you have to go and do that or if they are grouped together that as you can see I could probably grab these but and still go all the way to the top so instead of doing that. You know, I'm just going to identify everything that's associated with the drums itself. So what I'm going to do here, okay, this is a T1, T2, T3, which is all three of my toms. I'm going to take my command button and just click on all of the drums that I feel like is associated with the drums. And so we're going to go here. This is my overhead. And this is my kick. That's my hi-hats right there. Then we're going to go, is that it? I believe that's it. It seemed like there should be more. But uh, anyway, we're going to go ahead and uh, I may have to check my folder just to make sure that, that, that that's it. We're going to go ahead and pack that right now. 
bam, it's done. And just go ahead and label that as as drums. All right. And we're pretty much done with that. And, and all I have to do is just grab this and move this to the top. Like I like it. I like my drums to start off at the top. And for this track right here, I'm just going to go ahead and just bring in here anyway. And I'll just kind of position this at the top. This is my pre here. And I'm kind of using this as my guide. Uh, looks like it don't want to move. Oh, okay. That's why I didn't want to move. Because I had everything highlighted. But uh, this is my my uh, my premix here, and you know, I'm just gonna put that at the top, or whatever. And so now I have everything already packed, and and then you know, I'll just keep going. I have my BGVs. I've already sort of stamped that out, so I don't need to do anything with that. Um, and I could just go ahead and color that right quick, whatever I want. I actually like it to be more so like that. That's cool. And then um, I've already began to do the guitars this way. I have my clean guitars, distorted guitars right here, so they already sort of packed away. So that's looking good. I got my lead vocals right here. I like that to be right next to the BGV. And then I have my my electric piano. And I believe these pianos are doing something. Uh, they are the same, but there is a different tone. So I'm going to go ahead and pack that together. So I'm going to right click here. And I'm just call these E piano or Rhodes. Or just E P for short. And okay, so here's my piano here. And I, I hope that, that was that 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 was helpful, the process I just showed you. Oh, I like to bring my got I can't forget the loop. The loop goes uh probably like in at the top. Cause this is like your metronome in a sense. This you know, so I'll just put that at the top there. I just add the loop as well. This is something I did. To, but the, the session is by a group of a talented gentlemen out of Chicago who record this live in the studio that I was that I was uh that I owned in Chicago at the time. And um they're just just now getting getting you know, completed. <laughs> that's that's how it is a lot of times, you know. But anyway, uh, let's see. I got my horns. I already got that situated. I got my string, and these are the other, uh, the extra. These are the extra. I say ad lib vocals that belongs to the lead vocals. We gonna go ahead and pack that right quick. You know what I mean? I just, I just hope that I'm showing you guys a real quick and easy way to. Um, to move around this stuff you know what i mean i'll just put this you know up underneath the lead here and i can i'm gonna get that lead a different color make it hot like that's the main the focus all right so i got my my um this one goes up here too i don't know what this is so i have to check it out so i'll just put it up here anyway and once i discover what that is i'll just you know this look like the lead is probably a part of the lead so more than likely it's going to be like this i'll just bring this back i'm not really getting into the 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 editing process but i think this is kind of cool though um say like if i was to add that i really don't want to get into that because i know i didn't probably shift it but it's pretty cool because um with studio one it has these takes i don't think that's how you activate it but it, they they have they have what's called takes and you can actually add this in the take folder with no it's the layers Yep, add a layer, and I can actually add this in here, you know, like if I was to move it up. See, I don't want to nudge it. I'll just nudge it. This is a whole nother video, right? See, I <laughs> I keep nudging it. I, don't, I do not want to nudge it. All I want to do is just move it up. And sometimes you got to do that. You got to zoom in in order, you know, it's kind of crazy like that. But here we go. So it's like now this this one track was a separate track, but now it's a part of my layers here. So now I can I can both combine these together and have them going simultaneously. You know what I mean? This is pretty cool. So now I can go ahead and erase this here. And nope, wrong track. Um, I need to erase it like this. And the reason why. I know what that other track was, was because I 
I I can it came back to my memory. I I kind of know what that track is. Still didn't listen to it because the vocals was recorded at another studio, but I know what that is because it's like the answer to the end of this like all of this here boom, okay, whatever, right? So that's cool. So that's that's in takes. And um I can get these, you know, I <laughs> I'm going to leave it just like that. I'm going to come back to this and I'm going to fix that. But I'm just, you know, that wasn't really the focus of the video. I just want to show you guys how easy it is to to, um, to um, arrange your tracks. Just just that simple. So say you got drums and you got several horns and BGV parts and, you know, just several things that needs to be packed in the folder. This is the easy way to do it and just go and just pick where everything is. Like this right here, this is also... This is a part of that guitar, but this is right here. This is a Wolitzer right here. This is a part of that um, the uh, the EP we just created. And I'm gonna just go ahead and just boom, put it in there. You know, so if you need to do stuff like that, drag things inside of a folder, you can do that as you saw me do here. This is a wide guitar, and this is, a, is also a part of my guitar. So bam, just drop it in there right quick. Close the folder back. We'll work on that later and, and kind of do things accordingly. This is the string track. Okay, cool. And so I'm pretty much I'm pretty much done with this. I've, you know, just looking at it, I, I pretty much uh got everything completed. Everything is organized and arranged like I like I need to. And so now I'm just gonna go and probably change colors and you know, just make things look, you know, up to par. And this is a part of the lead section. This is the intro or whatever. And, and so there you have it, guys. I hope that this was helpful. And, um, oh, the other thing is, um, can't forget this. Um, when you pack these folders, this is this is very important because I use this technique all the time. When you pack these folders, you can also bust them out immediately to, a, to its own bus channel. So everything I have, its own control. Because I'm sure you guys are looking down here like, wait, you made a... a you pack the folder for the drums, but I don't see the drums down here at all. So this is what I'm going to do. If I go here and add a bus channel, it immediately add a bus channel. And now I have control down here as well. Now you can see it in my mixer, you know, and it, and it, and it corresponds with what's going on here in my range window here. No problem. And then same for my guitar here. We're going to create a, 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 a bus channel for that. So now... You know, as you can see, you see that as I as I adjust this in the arrange window, you can see it being adjusted as well in my mix window here. See me move my my volume. If I need to solo, if I need to mute it, you know, you'll see that. Well, I don't, I didn't see the mute, but you could definitely solo. All right, uh, and I think that's it. Um, yeah, and then also my horns. I definitely want to have a a channel for my horns. You know. So, again, easy process. Hope you guys enjoy what you what I've what I've expressed, what I've demonstrated for you guys. I hope it was simple and easy to ex understand. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment down below in this video your questions and concerns and whatnots, and I'll be happy to address those. I've been doing pretty well with um, getting back to everybody's response, you know, according to individual videos or whatnot. Definitely appreciate you guys' support and your likes and your your shares. I, I think it's very fantastic. I, I, I do really appreciate you guys. All right, so remember, music is art. You're the artist. Paint your picture. I'm your boy, Ellup, and I am out of here. Got to get back to mixing. All right.